Welcome back to more Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We are here. The edge of East Side. Or Freeside. The east e eastern edge of Freeside. This part we will be looking at Freeside and hopefully getting into New Vegas. There's not a lot to do here that's story related. Really, it's just walk through. Nothing else. Uh, someone's attacking us, apparently. That was a nice shot. Yeah, this is Freeside. It's a slum. It's kind of falling apart. There is one place here that I want to show you. Two, actually, but I don't know if I can find both. One has great big pretty lights. The other one is a small child. He has something we want. Mm, you're not a small child. It's gonna be easier to find him during the day. Oh wait, he's back at the opening area. Yeah, we get attacked quite often here. I'm pretty well just going to ignore it. Uh, Eddie and Boone will pretty well take care of anything. Oh wait, there's... Something back here, I believe. No. Sorry, wrong back alley. And there's the bright city lights of New Vegas. I don't remember where the back alley is that we're supposed to turn down to find the random jump group, but that is Mick and Ralph's. Memory serves me on the second or third floor of this building. If I can remember how to get up there. There we go. There should be a sleeping child. I don't know where he is. Okay, obviously this is not the one I thought it was. It's also the wrong back alley. Oh! What do you want that that's the building I was supposed to go in? I remember it's a dilapidated old building. There we go. Yes, that is what we wanted. It is the... Who the hell is talking to us? Say you, Dixon. Looking for a fix, man? What are you selling? Ap he sells fixer or something that gets you off the drugs. So yeah, we wanted that. It is artillery. It is 15 pound artillery. I will show you it probably not in this part. This is part 
16? Yeah, 16. So, I will hopefully show it to you next part. Just for the fun of it, I might fire it off. It is ridiculously fun just to go around shooting things with it. It's got a 24 hour recharge time though before you get another shot with it. So it's better not to waste it. Because the thing will literally wipe out everything it hits. But it's artillery. So yeah. There's the kings, which has the king who thinks he is Elvis. He also treats those who believe in Elvis. Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. Yeah. Atomic Wrangler Casino. Uh, their slogan, uh, where the booze is cheaper, the table's luckier, and the women are just like the booze. Although they have a policy for their prostitutes. They have to want to. They have to want you. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. Search away. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons. You're clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. You'd better. are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Sorum, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late and I want to know why. You're not wearing any clothes. Graf, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, and if we, Show's over. if we talk to him, he goes, You people are all fucking insane! Hey. So, yeah, what did you... you had money. Not much of it either. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? I'd like to see what you have for sale. Of course. So, weapons. Yes, these are weapons I like. Even if they're not in very good condition. Um... I mainly like these weapons because they have MF Breeder as their weapon, or as their ammo type, if you see. It's a breeding cell of type that is in the weapon. It recharges on its own, which means you literally never have to worry about ammo with those things. Well, you have to worry about overusing them. For 58 caps, I will definitely pick that up. Oh, I can't sell her back weapons. Crap. I have anti-venom, but I don't want to sell that. I could sell her some gecko steak. Or wine or whiskey or something. There we go, vodka. I like my vodka, though, so we're going to just give her two. Ah! We cancelled the sale. Welcome to the Silver Rifle. Multi plaz rifle. There's a three. Oh, no, not the recharger pistol. Okay, apparently we did accept the transaction. Ah, it's only got seven ammo capacity. Hey. Okay, because the pistol has 20. I was hoping the rifle would have more, but that explains why it was so cheap. You can see why that other guy was complaining about their weapon quality. Just live up to expectations. 
And now we get back all our other guns. Also, if I equip something else, and then equip the recharger rifle, it has to recharge. Yeah, that's normal clothing that we'll find you on the strip. Someone dead, really dead. Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the means. You want to get your hands on some of the deadliest weapons? That is a beautiful slogan. You want someone dead, really dead? Then head on down to our store where we'll sell you the kind of weapons that can make someone really dead. I will be trying something in. What? Ah! Game lag. Oh, he's already dead. I oh, know he's not. You just didn't have. Oh, you had some armor. Apparently this thing pierces armor. Only small amounts of it. Hey, there's a guy over there. He's in a suit. You like that? You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate Greeter without talking to it first. Why wouldn't I want to go past the Greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the Greeter. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. We're looking for a guy named Benny. Maybe it's this guy. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. We're gonna listen to him because I really have nothing else to do with this part. Courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Butcher? How did you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town. Makes but sense. business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Cryer, what was that job? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. That's horrible. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings, and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. You said escort, like armed guard. No, he does not mean like armed guard. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. So you got paid for sex? Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Gun for hire? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. 
After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Let's talk about something else. All right. Goodbye. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Credit check? What's that for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport, or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering, and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Fair enough. I'll submit to the credit check. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Yeah, you get to do a group credit check, which basically... That guy tried to run in. And he stopped. And, whoa, why are you guys using grenade launchers at this range? You're all idiots. I don't like this breeder rifle. But I didn't want to spend enough for the pistol. I suppose it will have to do... Even though it does very little damage. So, this is Vegas. Search the ship for the man who shot you. Those last five shots were a bad idea. Howdy, partner! You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas! What the hell? Point me to the tops, Victor. I've got a score to settle. Sorry, Rambler. I know you're fixing to serve up some vengeance, but I'm gonna have to point you to the lucky 38 first. Mr. House, the head honcho of New Vegas, is itching to make your acquaintance. He'll help you serve that cold dish of yours extra joy. Alright, I'll go there straight off. Yeah, partner. That's his spirit. He'll be waiting. The house always wins. Part one. Commanding officer after this. What? I don't trust those We're creeps. Leaving already. Lux. Yeah, they are pretty creepy. And then you see these drunk people. Come, and this. Come. This is a prostitute. This is one of the hookers, and this is. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. My stock and trade? Oh yes, this guy is Mr. Holdup. Let's see what you have. I want to see what I can sneak into a casino at the moment. Okay, these are the prostitutes. Depending on what time you come here, there will be many of them. And there will be a group of people around them, staring at them, cheering at them. There's another scene, I think it's at the Ultralux, that I'm going to have to show you because it is hilarious. I am not going to disrupt it this time. The first time I came here I did that. and It was fun to disrupt it, but I think you people would prefer, based off my subscribers' commentary, the subscribers in general, people in general, the internet in general, I think I could say safely, would prefer to just see a bunch of people dancing, in a, a bunch of girls dancing in a fountain, rather than seeing someone chase them off with a handgun. Come on, game. You, you're not supposed to have this much trouble loading. Hey, no one but Omertas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Okay, keep hold out weapons. You'll get these back. So, what exactly did we manage to hold out with? I just want to see what weapons we can keep with our current holdout skill. Get yeah, none. I mean, holdout skill is determined based off your sneak. If you notice, we have a sneak of 17. You need 25 to keep s pistols um, in general, and then you need 50 if you want to keep bigger things. We could probably keep like half our weapons. Ah, game lag. This is why I don't like my S video cable. It lags. Or it's the fact that I've been playing this game for like four hours straight now. Could be either one. 
Yeah, I've done part 12 till now in a row. I think I'm going to stop after this. I might stop now, actually. We've gotten 20 minutes of footage. Come on, game, don't freeze. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I see you brought some friends. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. No problem. I'll head up by myself. Come back soon now. Open up. So they are forced to sit there and wait for us. This is the one casino where you can carry guns inside. For good reason. We will test out the Ulysses Seafinder. Um, yeah, this part. We're going to go up, talk with House, come back outside, kill someone, then go test the Ulysses Seafinder. And that. We might not even get all that done this part. We only got a couple minutes left and How the hell are you inside already? Oh wait, he was going to talk to us wait, about that mention. I managed to skip it. My bad. Um basically Victor, the reason he can do every I think we missed it. The reason that he's been able to follow us like that, he's not actually following us. There's Securitrons everywhere. And he just teleports between them. He is a code program that can teleport between any Securitron that's not Inhabited by her. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Okay, goodbye. Penthouse floor. Yeah. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? A, sin a city devoted to vice and sin, what's not to love? Oh, come now, don't play the fool. Vegas has fools enough, a superfluity of them. They're what makes it so profitable. They come to Vegas chasing penny ante dreams of high living to feel like they're big shots, like they're winners. You see that you and I are of a different stripe, don't you? We don't have to dream that we're important. We are. Shall we get down to business then? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Thousand caps? I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? I'll return when I have the chip. Until then. So that was Mr. House, the Overlord of Vegas. With that, I will see you next time. I will... Yeah, the person we were going to kill this time, we will kill next time. And next time I will also do the... Uh, Ulysses Seafinder. So you can see what it does. Until then, I'm Plasma Void, and remember to have fun out there and come back next time.